What up everybody, it's iPadBeatMaking.com here on October 9th giving you some news you can use. As always, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and if you are not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest iOS music updates, tutorials, beats, reviews, and more. Now according to National Geographic, this particular species of fly loves bullshit. With its incredible vision, it can spot it from a mile away, and anytime it hears it, it can't resist getting close and acknowledging you as the world's best bullshitter. This particular fly was so amazed, it gave a two minute standing ovation. Other notable examples are here and here. I guess we know who this one's voting for. GeoShred seems to have something really big in the works, with Swam in app purchases being soon available. If you aren't familiar, SWAM stands for Synchronous Waves Acoustics Modeling and is a product of their company, Audio Modeling. They're known to be incredibly expressive and GeoShred is the premier MPE instrument, allowing some of the most expressive touchscreen instrument playability on iOS. Some of the in-app purchases on offer will be Geo Cello, Geo Tenor Sax, Geo Clarinet, Geo Violin, and Geo Flute for $15 each or $75 for a bundle. This update is said to be available within the next week or so, so definitely keep your eye out for it if it interests you. Now let's move on to the latest app updates. Elliot Garage Segments has been on something of an update spree, issuing one update a week for the past couple of weeks, and this update, quote, fixed release parameter in AE3 version, so that's good news. Now, Zen Beats has been updated to version 2.02 .02 with bug fixes and enhancements. And DJ, the DJ app in AI Mixer, has also been updated. Added ability to export history to Tidal, SoundCloud, Beatport, BeatSource, or local playlist. Added support for MIDI Fighter Twister. Improved mappings for Newmark Mixtrack Pro effects and Mixtrack Platinum effects. Fixed waveform orientation and waveform dark mode settings not being retained. Fixed incorrect voiceover labels. Fixed possible invalid session error when using Tidal. And various bug fixes, improvements, and more. Voloco, which if you're not familiar with, we briefly demoed in this video here, is a real-time voice processing app that combines automatic tuning, harmony, and vocoding, or auto-tune. They've just updated their app with what we assume is a fix of a common crash since the version history says mostly the same thing for the past four updates. But it's always good to see update activity on an app. Next we have sound fonts. They fix potential crash at startup for new installations. Presets can now be hidden from view by tapping on the list button in the info bar. They've removed duplicate loading of font configurations. They've also added additional UI improvements and bug fixes. Now Iceworks has also updated their suite of instrument plugins. They've added an option to display the contents of the program folder on the AU host instead of the contents of the factory preset folder. And they've also fixed some minor issues. And Hurricane iOS 14 has continued its bludgeoning of your favorite music apps and developers are keeping up and updating as best as possible. So a few on the update list for iOS 14 related fixes include AudioKit L7 AUV3 Live Looper, RP1 Delay, RF1 Reverb, Synthmaster 1, and Mellow Sound. And as always, if we missed any updates or info, be sure to let us know in the comment section or by emailing us at iPadBeatMaking at gmail.com. Now our spotlight of this week is our very own Trap Kit 2. This is currently available for Nano Studio 2 and is a creation spawned from years of curation. We fine tune everything to be as easy and fun as possible for our iOS creators so that you can have a stress-free, intuitive beat making workflow. We've got a full introduction to everything in this video here, but to summarize, you've got over 400 sounds in Slate, which is the drum pad section, over 100 instruments in Obsidian, which is where the piano keys are, with full creative control over reverb, delay, and spread, and a total of over 90 808s that have our revolutionary 808 engine with parameter control over things like drive, attack, release, glide time, and more, as well as our brand new 808 Blendgen that includes all of those things, plus the ability to blend different audio sources to your 808s, such as kicks, rumbles, and more, to really make them your own. This kit was started shortly after Trap Kit 1 was released, and it's been a long journey to finally get it to completion, but we are extremely proud of what we put together and think it's the best Trap Kit that you can get for iOS. It's currently available at iPadBeatMaking.com, and as always, we'll also leave links in the description. We hope you enjoy it and can't wait to hear what you create with it.
Now it's time to get to our sales this week, and we've got quite a few. Are you an author, a journalist, a historian, a student, a technology person, or even a podcaster seeking for a bulletproof recording app? Then check out You Record Pro. It's usually $10, but it's free on iOS and Mac until Saturday, October 10th. My songbook, Lyrics and Chords, is usually $9, and it's currently on sale for $4. Nano Studio 2 is still on sale, as well as its in-app purchases at 50% off, which I recommend grabbing. The sale is going to end soon, but we don't currently know the exact day. It was originally $20, and now it's $10. Audio Kit L7 AUV3 Live Looper, which is usually $10, is on sale for only $3. Fogue Machine MIDI Sequencer is usually $10 and is currently on sale for $5 at 50% off. Navicord Chord Sequencer is usually $9 and it's on sale for $5. And tons of Nimbrini apps are currently on sale for 50% off. These include Analog Rack Phaser, Analog Rack Fuzz, Analog Rack Flanger, Analog Rack Screamer, Analog Rack Guitar Equalizer, Analog Rack Tremolo, and the analog rack reverb. And Chompler is also on sale for $5 down from $8. And again, if we missed anything, be sure to let us know in the comment section or email us at ipadbeatmaking at gmail.com. That concludes our news for today, October 9th, 2020. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you aren't currently subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on iOS music news, apps, tutorials, beats, reviews, and more. And be sure to check out iPadBeatMaking.com for some of the best kits available for iOS with formats that include Beatmaker 3, Nano Studio 2, Cubasis 3, Zen Beats, Elliott Garage Pulse, and more. It's iPadBeatMaking.com. Peace. Thank you.